Welcome to Matt Sunday on the Football Zone and to a midweek preview. We've got a full um, schedule of Premier League fixtures this week. Um, so let's get straight into it and start things off with Forest against Fulham. And yeah, a really good game um, for Forest here. You know, living dangerously just above the relegation zone. And they need uh, results, basically. Um, but yeah, um, Fulham coming into this one, um, you know, like I say, mid-table, their season's pretty much done. Um, couldn't get the win over Sheffield United last month, but they're not in bad form. I think these two teams could be evenly matched on the day. Forest playing at home, I'm going to say 1-1. Moving on then to um, Newcastle against um, Everton at uh, St James's Park. And I think this is a game that Newcastle will be really looking to win um, to boost the, their European hopes. But at the same time... Um, Newcastle um, really need that win for Europe. Everton um, need it as much just because, yeah, they are looking nervously over their shoulders at the moment to see if they could be relegated to the Championship. So, yeah, I don't think it's been an easy game for Newcastle. But I think at home they should have uh, more than enough quality. I'm going to say 2 0. Moving on then to. Um Bournemouth against Crystal Palace at um, the Vitality and yet uh, if you look at the table these two teams are um, pretty evenly matched um, Bournemouth are quite comfortably ahead of Palace I think you know when you look at paper there's some of the individual quality that um, Bournemouth had I think yeah they are pretty in the, pretty evenly matched um, I think no Bournemouth at home uh, will Probably be hoping for a win here. I think they just have enough to get it. I'm going to say 2-1 to Bournemouth. Moving on into Burnley against Wolves. And yeah, we've definitely seen a recent improvement um, from um, Burnley in recent weeks. Um, and yeah, I think games like this against Wolves, who aren't a bad side, um, but you know, they are games that they will be hoping to win, if you kind of get what I mean. Um, and yeah, one's at home to Wolves, I think... They kind of have to win if they want to really um, stand a chance of uh, staying up. So I'm going to say, I don't know, I think they just might fall short. I'm going to say 1-1, but yeah, I think it could be an interesting game. But moving on then to West Ham as they take on Tottenham at... Um the London Stadium, and yeah, this is a really big game. West Ham coming into this one, um, yeah, on a bit of a mixed run of form, I think it's fair to say. Um, you know, some days they can be really good, um, like that 5 1 over Freiburg, sometimes um, not so good, like that collapse against um, Newcastle. But Tottenham, they need to win, I think, away from home. I think they will have quite just enough quality. I'm going to say 2 1, but moving on then to um, Wednesday's action, starting off with Arsenal against Luton. Arsenal, um, yeah. I think coming away from the Etihad um, with just um, with just a draw isn't a disaster by any means. I think you know they'll take that result uh, all day. Um, still keeps them very much in the title hunt um, against the Luton side. Who yeah, they kind of have to be winning. Um, Luton have shown some fight, but I'd be surprised if um, Arsenal don't win this one very easily. I'm going to say it'll be a comfortable two 0 win. Moving on into um, Brentford as they take on Brighton at um, the GTEC Community Stadium. And yeah, this is an interesting game, kind of one between two teams. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, I just kind of feel like it's going to be a season that kind of peters out for both. Brighton uh, recently just haven't convinced me um, too much, if I'm being brutally honest. Just too too inconsistent for me. I'm not sure if they'll be able to maintain the European push. Um, I think Brentford at home, though, are a decent team. And I can see them just nicking a win here. I'm going to say 2-1. Moving on then to uh, Man City uh, against um, Villa at the Etihad. And yeah, Man City coming into this one... Um, yeah, obviously off the back of that draw with Arsenal. But I think they'll come into this one really confident about their chances. Um Yeah, they'll feel they'll f I think they're feeling confident coming into this one. Um I think yeah, Villa, they're a good side, but I'm not quite sure if they're at the level to take on the sides like Man City yet. So I'm going to say it'll be comfortable 3-1 win. Moving on then to um, Liverpool as they take on Sheffield United. Moving on to the two Thursday games now. And yeah, this is a game which Liverpool um, should be winning relatively easily. Sheffield United maybe have been putting up a bit more of a fight recently. But at the same time, um, I still think they are kind of miles off um, the stand of where they should be for a team that wants to be, um, you know, kind of competitive uh, in the league, which, let's face it, at the moment, they're very much not so i'm going to say this will be a comfortable 4-1 win for the poll but moving on then to um sheffield uh, to chelsea as they take on manchester united and this is a big game chelsea you kind of feel like need a win here if they're going to really push um to get into the european spots manchester united a draw would do Stamford bridge is a tough place to go um and you know they're still very much in and around the spot so i think yeah the onus really will be on chelsea
Chelsea's come out and attack um, from the first whistle here. And yeah, I think that's exactly what they'll do. I don't think they'll sit back and die wondering. Um, so yeah, I'm going to say it will be a draw. I think these two teams are evenly matched. Um, but yeah, I can see it being a high score in one. This video. Thanks very much for watching. Remember to like, share, subscribe, follow us on our socials. Link in the description below for daily football news, meme, and content. Subscribe for our other channels on screen right now. That'd be greatly appreciated. Thanks very much for watching. Peace out.